Researchers are testing a medication called famotidine. Turns out I happen to have a little bit of this in my medicine cabinet. Famotidine is the active ingredient in the medication called Pepsid. You're probably familiar with Pepsid. It's over the counter. It can be gotten by prescription. Generally, it helps with things like stomach ulcers. It can help with gastroesophageal reflux disease. Turns out I had a little bit in my medicine cabinet. Now, first of all, before I go any further telling you more about this, do not go to the pharmacy or ask your doctor or go pick up from the drugstore Famotidine or Pepsid thinking that taking it is going to cure or prevent your coronavirus. That is not the case. We have no proven medication to do this yet. This is simply a medication being studied. However, I do want to tell you they are studying this medication in the IV form at nine times the dose of GERD uh, dosing in hospitalized patients. Now, let me tell you a little bit about famotidine or the medication, okay? It's called a, um, a histamine blocker or an H2 blocker. Now, this type of medication does a couple of things. It lowers the amount of acid that your stomach produces. And it also blocks the histamine receptors in our stomachs that are responsible for triggering acid production. And this is how it helps with like ulcers and um, gastroesophageal reflux disease or heartburn. Um, but it also helps with other conditions as well. Okay, so that's how it's used on a day-to-day -day basis in the pill form, blah, blah, blah. Remember, once again, not to sound like a broken record, but do not go to the store and buy this, okay? And buy it all out um, if you're not supposed to already be taking it as according to your doctor, okay? This is a medication that we are studying. Now, according to sciencemag.org, I thought this was really interesting. On April 7th, the first coronavirus patients at Northwell Health in New York City began to receive uh, famotidine uh, IV at nine times the heartburn dose. Remember, I, I mentioned that. As of a couple of days ago, they had 187 COVID-19 patients in critical status already enrolled in the trial. Many of those patients are actually on ventilators. Um, the study trial aims to enroll over 1,100 people. So they're, they're kind of moving along in that direction. Um, the idea is that there's been some early sort of reports that in China, um, famotidine may possibly be helpful. Uh, that's a very, I'm putting it very, very generally and very, very sort of generically. So we are studying it here to see if it makes a difference. How the study is organized, and this is what I thought was really interesting, is that um, patients are either being given a two drug combination of hydroxychloroquine and famotidine or hydroxychloroquine alone. Now, I know you guys are like, wait a minute, hydroxychloroquine, ain't that that medication, Dr. Jen, you were telling us about the VA and the results weren't that great. That's the medication we've been hearing about. Um, yeah. And what they say, this is an ABC News article, says that uh, Dr. Kevin Tracy, who's the CEO and president of Feinstein's Institute for Medical Research at Northwell Health, that's where this um, study's undergoing. Uh, according to this article, he says that hydroxychloroquine, this medication that the data has been, eh, um, was added into the mix because of the drug's promise back in mid-March before the data emerged about its potential risks. So once again, you know how guys, I'm always telling you guys to check the date stamps of my videos and understand that things are changing. Look, they're changing for us all. Um, this is gonna be a really interesting, I think, study, just like so many others. Remember, this is not the only study. There's many studies ongoing looking at different medications to see what works, uh, what might work and what doesn't work. Um, so let's just sort of see how the data unfolds. As for now, I think it's important that you just understand that a drug called famotidine is being used in an IV form to see if it could possibly work against coronavirus. But uh, the take home again, in addition to that, is you should not be buying this medication off of uh, store shelves if you're not supposed to be taking it for reasons your doctor has, has indicated for you. You do not buy it out. Do not take it thinking it's going to cure or prevent uh, uh, your coronavirus because it and no other medications have been proven to do that yet. But um, as always, I'm gonna keep you updated on the latest and greatest as we sort of go through this coronavirus pandemic together. Uh, guys, I hope you stay safe and I will see you tomorrow. By the way, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle.